Hello students. Today we are going to have fun with homophones. So let's start. First of all, let us understand the meaning of homophone. Children, the word homo means the same and phone means sound. So homophone means having the same sound. Now look at the examples. Right. R-I-G-H-T. Right. And W. R-I-T-E. Right. So notice that both the spellings are different. The meanings are totally different. But both the words are having the same sound. So, can we say they are homophones? Yeah. Now look at the next example. S double E C. An S E A C. Over here also, the pronunciation is same. C and C. So, they are homophones. Now look at the third one. H-A-I-R here and H-A-R-E here. Okay, so they are homophones. They have same sound. Their pronunciation is same but their spellings, they are different. And what about their meaning? Yeah. Their meaning is also different. So children, we can say that the homophones are the words that have the same sound. Their spelling and meaning is different. Now understand this with the help of some examples. Sun. S-U-N. Sun. The sun is shining. The sun is a heavenly body over here. S-O-N, sun. My son is four months old. Eight. Eight is the past tense of eat. Eat, eight. He ate a sandwich. Now look at the next one that is number eight. E-I-G-H-T. I worked eight hours today. Now look at these three homophones. A-R-E-R. -R. They are my brothers. Here R is a verb. O-U-R-R. -R. He is our son. It shows belongingness. H-O-U-R-R. -R. Over here, the H is silent. Okay, so he is one hour late. So all three are pronounced in the same manner. R, R and R. Now look at this. R, A, I, N, rain. This rain has been here all week. Okay. R, E, I, N, rain. R, E, I, N, rain are the straps that are used to control the horse. I hold the horse's rein. R-E-I-G-N. Over here, G is silent. So the pronunciation is same. Rain, rain and rain. R-E-I-G-N. Rain means to rule, to rule some kingdom. I reign over my kingdom, the queen says. E-Y-E-I, -E my eye hurts. I, I am a teacher. P-A-L-E, pale. Pale means yellow, to turn yellow. We can turn yellow due to some fear or illness. She turned pale with fear. P-A-I-L, pail. It means a bucket. I dropped a pail of water. 
S T E E L steel and S T E A L steel. The first steel is a metal, and another one means to take somebody's things without his or her permission. Eyes, E Y E S, eyes. Her eyes were filled with tears. I C E eyes. I put ice cubes in my juice. R double O T root. The root is under the ground. R O U T E root. Root means way. What route do I take to get to your house? Right. W R I T E. It's an action word. I like to write stories. R I G H T right. Right can be correct and it can be the direction also. The driver took a right turn. Or we can say your answer is right. So in this this sentence right means correct. S E E C we see with our eyes. S E A C I love to swim in the sea. Pair. This is my favorite pair of socks. P E A R pair. My favorite fruit is a pear. P A I N pain. I have a sharp pain in my neck. P A N E pain. The window pain is broken. We are talking about this glass window. So that is a window pain. Look at the arrow. That is a window pain. So the window pain is broken. T A L E tale. A tale means story. I love to listen to a fairy tale. T A I L tale. It's a part. It's a body part of any animal. The dog is wagging his tail. Road, R O A D road. The car is on the road. R O D E road. It is the past tense of right. She rode her horse. Flower. I gave a flower to my teacher. Flower. My mother bought flour to make a cake. So children, have you understood? Yeah? Really, have you understood? Okay, so if you have understood, then shall I take your quiz? Okay, then be ready for the quiz. Select the correct answer. Read it. Okay, the correct answer is S E A C. Read it. Find the correct answer. Okay, the correct answer is. H E A R here. Very good. Find the answer. The correct answer is M A T E mate. Very good. Okay, now find the answer. Okay, the answer is bear. B E A R bear. The answer is H A I R hair. Very good. Keep it up. And the answer is pear. P A I R pear. Good. Choose the correct answer. Excellent. Now, 
Quickly, quickly solve this. Check your answer. Good. The answer is plane. P L A I N plane. Okay. Select which two is going to come? This one. T W O two. Two is a pair, and three is a crowd. So children, keep it up. I'm proud of you. Your challenge is completed. So, thanks for watching. I hope you have understood everything. Stay blessed. Bye.